the week that was well interesting one this one I can tell you I did three a.m. mornings in a row and basically I'm still chasing Stephen McCullough I always get his name wrong I can't stand the fact I can't remember people's names but anyway Steve McCullough is the owner of Luna One and I did a video four hours and 47 minutes long and everyone went wow oh, it's too long and I said this is my cornerstone video and I'm just gonna chop it up and make um, six or seven videos out of it so I produced three of those this week and I've just done number three and why I'm laughing is um, crypto granny Cindy Piper I've totally exposed her I've been hiding her identity for so long and she just keeps producing videos trying to um, um, defame Sultan Phantom Martin Kingsbury myself and we're doing our darndest to expose this Luna one as a Ponzi scheme and we've done a bloody good job but the, the truth of the matter is she got returned her money and so did her friend I don't know how much but it was a lot of money and it's the first time anyone's ever got their money back from anyone running a Ponzi scheme so we should be celebrating but she's turned on the whole community and the telegram groups and she's abusing people she's uh, accused me of being a pedophile and all sorts of things so I certainly had enough and I decided to um, when I was chopping up the, the big video into a segment if you go to my YouTube and have a look at number three you'll see it's um it's only been online for a day and it's got some quite good traffic um, but sure enough, she's gone and stuck out another video, but she called me a pedophile and I thought I've never been called a pedophile before I've been called a few other things by people when I'm busting them But she's hoping that Stephen and his companies um, Shouldn't be harassed from people like us. So it's interesting Anyway, so that was one thing. So I've done three new videos this week, which I'm quite proud of and I'm really making some good headway With the people I'm connecting to so I really do value if you do know anything and you are watching this video and you have any leads contacts names of sponsors that got you involved in anything to do with hyperverse I'd really like to know and I have a form on my website where you can fill out that stuff which would be absolutely awesome um, the other real cool thing that happened this week uh, I got an email from one of my informants and they said that we we Global is coming to Christchurch, New Zealand, which is my hometown. And I'm like, are they? So they're here on the 9th of February, and they're going to be in the Novotel Airport um, Conference Centre or lunch area. I'm not sure exactly where they're holding it. And that, that why that's funny is because um, they're going to four places in Australia and one place in New Zealand. So what I did. As I thought I'd contact all the venues and tell them do they realize they're actually hosting an event for a company that is a Ponzi scheme and trying to defraud people and they're trying to build numbers and recruit people into training them um, and then um, I got some other correspondence and there's a few other leads which of people that actually are promoting wewe.global here in New Zealand and um, and then I thought, what else can I do? So I rang up the serious fraud office, explained the story to them. They said, oh, it's not really our, our division, but we will put a case into the FMA. And I said, well, I've done that. I've got two case numbers already. Here's another case number. And then I got an email back from the FMA, and they're basically telling me, uh, not the FMA, the serious fraud office, basically telling me who committed the crime, how much money was stolen, um, where do they live, what's their phone number and all that shit that I can't provide so basically it's just about impossible so then I thought well what I'll do there's a um, crime a financial crime unit so I rang up the police and said look there's um explain the whole story again on hold for an hour and they said they took up my notes took all my information and then they said oh why don't you go into the central police station and waste some more of your time trying to stop these people coming to um, Christchurch and scamming everyone so I did so I've just come back from there now and that was quite exciting so long story short um, they made me sit there for an hour he said I have to run upstairs and get one of the guys and come down and speak to you and I thought oh, good I'm finally getting somewhere and then he come down after making me wait an hour come back and said oh they're not there <laughs> can you write down what the problem is on a piece of paper so here I am dyslexic Danny trying to write my name and phone him which I can do and explain something about a conference so anyway then the guy I said to him, mate I'm really dyslexic I can't explain all this and he was really good and he said look tell me your story I told him a story and he said wow I told him that uh, everything about it and basically what my crusade is I said I sound like a nutter but these guys are coming they're flying in 
they're running at a conference trying to defraud people and I don't know how to stop them and I've tried all this stuff um, I mentioned uh, David Farrier obviously he's been trying as well um, quite funny if you do search for David Farrier you'll find um, oh I've forgotten his website now worm is it a web worm webworm.co and you'll see that he was disgusted the fact that we we dot global is actually coming to Christchurch and he said good on you Novotel Novotel for hosting the event they all need um so anyway he wrote a whole article about Ponzi schemes and the like and he asked me to include a paragraph which is absolutely fantastic so I I did I wrote I spent an hour right good paragraph with my beloved and we represented what was actually happening I'm just back in the car and if you're wondering uh represented what was actually happening um in the Ponzi scheme stuff and that was really cool so he published an article and then five o'clock yesterday he got a cease and desist letter from either somebody mentioned in the article or wee.global which is just absolutely a laugh so now he's wrote another article about cease and desist letters and funny enough in the comment section if you go and find it so go to um webworm.co no dot com the co and uh, you'll see that I posted my uh, part of the reply I wrote to my cease and desist letter I got from Stephen McCullum. And I. Oh, I don't know. Did that carry on? It might have done. Um, I haven't done that before. So when I got home, it obviously switched from 3G to 4G. So I might delete this whole video and start again. But anyway, it says it's reconnected. So that's unusual. Never done that before. Alrighty, so we're going to tell you, I've got three new videos. What can I tell you? I've, got, I've just got home, I might be, now I'm in front of the computer, I might be able to tell you some more juicy stuff. Um, yeah, so David Farrier he wrote an article, got a cease and desist letter, sort of an everyday um, thing, to be honest. Uh, let's have a look at my YouTube channel, and see if there's anything in there that I can think of that might ring a bell. Probably not the most exciting um, Oh, it tells me I'm live now in the car, but I'm not in the car, I'm at home. That's interesting. Um, oh, yes, the petition. Now, it's an interesting one, the petition, because I sort of feel for the community because I've got a lot of people at the moment there asking me to help them fight these scammers by potentially, um, you know, signing the petition, and then they're going to go back and um, go after the guys that have stolen all their money. So I did a video 11 days ago called We Are Corporate. Now, I've identified three people who are corporate. Sam Lee, Ryan Ju, and Jaden Wee. And also there's another guy, there's two Kevins. I've actually managed to find one of the Kevins, which is quite exciting, but I can't say anything about it until I confirm what I'm saying. But in saying that, it's been really good. And now we've got Sam Lee coming out to the community and telling everyone that he does want to help the community, but only if they sign up for his platform, which is Stable Deo. And then once he's got all the community in his database, he pretend, thinks that he'll have some clout and he can go back to corporate and actually try to get people's money for them. Now, the stupid thing about him saying that, he is corporate. He's one of the ones. So he's trying to claim that Hyper Technologies actually only provided the software for Hyperverse, Hyperfund and Hypercapital. But if you go back and write, go to Project Frugal and watch 10 videos and waste about 10 hours of your life watching these videos, you'll find out that this all started from a company called Bitcoin Group. And then they formed a company called Colin Star Capital. And then, um, then you had Sam Lee start up a company called um, Blockchain Global. Now, Blockchain Global was talked about in all the presentations to do with Hyperfund and Hyperverse. And then Ryan Drew came along as the guy that was part of 300 Enterprises and he was made out to be the loaded guy. But what it looks like is um, Jaden, he used to be the CEO for Hyperverse and then he gave it up and gave it to Stephen Reese lewis which was a paid actor who now apparently seems to be living in Picton. Are you following all those kids? This is what I have to go through every day. So what seems to happen is Jaden and Ryan still seem to be working together. Now, if you go to molecular structure, I think it's .cc, don't quote me on that, and search for that, you'll find that Jaden still claims to be the CEO of a company called Molecular Structure, which was the payment gateway. Jaden um, also seems to be still active on LinkedIn and other forms of um, media, but he is 
one of corporate. Ryan Jew is one of corporate. Sam Lee is one of corporate. So one would start to think, why aren't they running away with the money? And that's where the two Kevins come into play. The Kevin that I've locked down seems to be um, the chief financial officer. And Ryan, sorry, Sam Lee seems to be talking about some sum of money that seems to be locked up in some investment opportunity that will mature at the end of this year. And he's alleging that if people sign up for Stable Deo, which he is fairly miserable on, um, he will help the community to get their one-time reward back, which is no good for all the other people that have got some money out, but not all of the money out. And the whole lot there is just the, a conniving bunch of lying thieves that are just using the people in the community who still don't know any better, um, which is breathtaking. So long story short, guys, Sam Lee's a dirty, rotten, scoundrel liar who's trying to steal the community. He wants to re-scam the people that have already been scammed. It does seem like that Ryan and Jaden and Sam Lee have had some fallout, and it does seem like somebody else has actually um, um, has control of the money. But in the meantime, these scams continue to grow. Now, the problem I face is a lot of people are, are literally in disbelief. They don't know who to believe. They don't know whether to move on to hypercosmos, for example. They don't know whether they should still believe in hypernation and they still don't know whether they should just give up that they've lost all their money in Hyperverse. So that's the dilemma, people. But I wish, with my hand on my heart, that everyone that has anything to do with these crypto opportunities, the platforms that offer you high return your money, understand 100% that every single one of these pla uh, these these uh, forms that are saying to people, um, you're going to get a high return. Every single platform that is out there is a scam. Then we can all go after these guys running these scams rather than sitting here hoping that your investment's actually going to happen. There's another one called Bull. Something, um, uh, it, it's another one I did a wee um, thing on a wee while ago. And I'm getting quite a, a lot of people telling me I don't know what I'm talking about, which is a daily event, actually. And I want to just read that one out to you. Uh, I did a video ages ago called, uh, it's CMB, and it's called, Is Coin Market Bull? Now, I'm getting a ton of inquiries at the moment, people telling me I don't know what I'm talking about, and you can see it in the comments section. So I've had, it, it, all of a sudden it's taken off. That means these companies are out there marketing these scams, and that's the problem. So then people think, oh, yeah, I keep hearing this name, I keep hearing this name, it must be real. Then start, people start saying, I'm getting money out of it. And they go, oh, it must be real because I'm getting money out of it. And that's the scam there. People think they're cleverer than the scams because they get a little bit of money out of it. They believe, um, because they're getting money out of it, they believe it's real. That doesn't mean it's real. That means that you start telling your friends and family about it and they get involved in it. And then eventually they get momentum. And yes, some people may get money out because people think they're cleverer than the scam. And then all of a sudden, everybody, everybody loses their money. And um, and then the scam, and the people at the top who've been promoting it, they get the money out straight away. Because this is how, if you listen to Sam Lee, what Sam Lee actually says is that um, affiliate marketing is really important. Now, he's saying to people that you can sign up for Stable Deo free of charge. Oh, just like you can sign up for Facebook free of charge. And then you can be part of the community. And you'll have this big community that when people who don't know anything, who don't know all the history of the stuff, go into that community, their friends will be chatting to them. And those people that come into the community uh, after he's got the community will be the ones that they will sell the products and services. Well, not services, they've got no services. They'll sell products to. And the people in the community that didn't pay anything will get a affiliate reward for doing so. So you'll be talking to somebody who has a, a conflict of interest. They'll be telling you about this great opportunity. They'll be building a friendship with you. And then when you sign up, they get a lot of it. Now, that's how these, these platforms work. So there's, there's three lots of people. There's the people that run these scams and control all the crypto. They set them up. They get the software. They might use Sam Lee's um, hyper technology company to actually um, create the platforms that run it. And then when people sign up and they put $1,000 in it, 48% of that money, in, using um, Hyperverse as an example, goes to the people that create these platforms. 52% of the money, using Hyperverse as an example, goes out and rewards to the VIP fives, threes, twos, and ones who refer it to friends and family. 
the friends and family are the ones that put their money in, are told that don't take your money out, leave it in there to mature, and you can watch it grow on a daily basis, and they'll give people daily rewards. And using Hyperverse as an example, you put $300 in it, and then in, in 600 days, you were told that you were going to get $900 out in rewards. And you can take that money out. But when that money matures, um, you can see the uh, they encourage you to reinvest that money. And um, But the people that introduce you into it are savvy enough to know that they can take out the reward money that they got by introducing you to it. And they can take that out in USDD straight away. So you've got the big guys at the top. They're collecting the money from the platform so they're, they're hoping to get at least you know 40 to 50 percent of the money that you put in there goes off to the the scammer the person that's stealing the money from you the big thief the robber the other money is getting paid out to the vip fives or the people who are promoting it in real time they're getting the money they're cashing out right now no so i i i can't um verify what i'm about to say but with Hyperverse, 300 people times a million people in it is $4 billion. Now, left in the kitty is just short of a billion dollars. So that tells me my figures are correct. So where did the other $3 million go? Well, I'm saying running expenses and also paid out all the people who are promoting it. So that's how that works. All right, guys, um, that's just uh, the week that was. Obviously, lots is happening. Um, and I've got some really good leads uh, I just got a funny one from Super One. He's done a uh, asked somebody for a testimonial, and the person that I've asked for a testimonial, I've been researching, and I've got some interesting information coming out about Super One. Now, if you don't know about Super One, um, Andre uh, Christensen is his name. Go to Super Dot One. Do not invest any money; it's a scam. But he's come up with this game, this app that when you download it on your iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I've got, it crashes, it doesn't even work. And now he's got a testimonial from a, a guy which has just sent me a message basically saying how awesome it is and how he won $2,800 and people are asking me to investigate. So I've contacted the guy that's made the statements and um, and then I'm about to, to ask him if he would like to come onto a Zoom um, meeting with me and tell me about his experience using this app. There's so much scamdemic stuff going on at the moment, guys. Really do be savvy. Remember, I do really appreciate it when you hit the like button. If you go through and open the last 10 of my videos and hit like, it really does tell YouTube that you like my video and my content, and it's your way of really helping out. So I really do appreciate it. Now, a couple of things that of interest. I am actually, um, I've been uh, being contacted by a publishing company who are interested in potentially um, writing a book about my story, not just as the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger, which is very exciting. And also I got four pages in The Listener um, this week. So if you go and into your uh, into the new world and you'll see the magazine stand, uh, it's The Listener. Oh, wait a minute. It's this one. I was in this one. And look, it's really cool. But they did... Um, at me and yes yeah, so I've got four pages in the listener which is pretty cool so I'm really wrapped about that one but we are getting a little bit of um, media coverage and also if you go and look at David Farrier's stuff you'll see that there's an article in there he wrote to me and asked me to include a paragraph about summarizing how I felt about we we global coming to Christchurch and um, I'm doing my utmost to stop that Good news, I don't know if I said before I got cut off, but the police said they took my notes. They said they're going to ring me on Monday. And um, then I had a good conversation with the policeman. He said he'll explain it all to the um, criminal fraud investigation team or unit, as they call it. And hopefully we'll be able to attend that meeting with the police. And also I've got three other of my colleagues who are also in this fight to stop these criminals promoting um, scams at their events when they fly into New Zealand. So what I'm hoping to do is the guy that's running the event, if he doesn't video in, which I wouldn't be surprised rather than coming in person, he will be questioned at customs. And then we've also notified the venue that they're hosting an event that potentially um, is hosting a scam. They have to do their own investigation and all this within the next um, five days. And uh, at the very least, at least 
the crypto Ponzi scheme Avenger has been causing some disruption and hopefully uh, awareness and trying to stop people from getting scammed. Hey, I'm Danny the Heck, the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Sorry about the um, cutting off halfway through. Do um, or What I was asking you guys to do, go to the last 10 videos, click all the like, 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 and that will help Google algorithm and it will send out my videos out to the masses. So good on you. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. Next, that was the week that was with Danny the Heck.